Here are some of the projects I've been working on recently. And just some of the things I've got set up and operating here recently. I got this Lasco fan cleaned and lubricated. It's working real well. Still need to get this TV repaired. There's probably some bad electrolytics in the vertical circuitry. They put a completely new roof on this building. These were where the bad ceiling tiles were. I'm going to have to replace the ceiling tiles, but luckily the landlord completely uh, redid the roof, so it's uh, really good now. We've had some heavy rains and no more leakage from the roof, but this was a real a real mess when there was torrential rains and it leaked, but it's got, got the couch all cleaned up, but I probably am going to need to repaint the walls here. All this muddy, rusty water leaked down on them out of the ceiling. I got this TV set up here so I can sit down in the chair and watch TV. Here's the chair. <laughs> I could sit on the couch here and watch this TV, but if you sat in the chair, you were just uh, completely perpendicular to it. So this one, you can watch it while sitting in the chair as well. Yeah, everything else uh, hasn't changed all that much. Still need to demonstrate this. I had I went ahead and disconnected it. I need to get another splitter to get it back on the DTV converter. Everything in here just kind of got vacuumed and could stand to be organized a little bit better, but I'm trying to get most things put into a good place. Take a look in the other room now behind this curtain. Here's a view of the workshop area as it is now. On, uh, let's see, I think this is September the 6th, 2009. Computer's just tucked away there. We've got the new computer ready to go home. I'm going to try and get it set up at home this weekend. We've got the Dell back in here in the in the workshop area. Here's a Halicrafters uh, radio I just got. Looks like an old-fashioned clock, and it does have a clock with it. But the speakers are up in in the top of it. Here's the Filmal Sound film projector. Still need to get JB weld and repair the worm gear. I've got the jukebox units repaired, ready to go back into the jukebox. And I've got all the cleaning and lubricating products uh, in one place here. And I've got stuff stacked up to the ceiling. I've, I've already reached the ceiling now, so it's just a miscellaneous bunch of stuff in there. That's this is just mostly boxes here. Even got a Ford 5.0 liter intake manifold uh, thing here. One of the biggest things I've done recently was in this room over here. And that's to get the uh, audio mixing system set up. First take a look at this lamp here. I 
got this lamp, but it didn't have a socket, a main socket on it, or the part that holds the lamp shade on. So I had to get a new socket and new uh, shade holder. It have flame bulbs in it. Here are the speakers for the sound system in this room. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the brighter lights in here. These are just university sound speakers here. And the amp for this room is the KLH uh, Phono, which really has good sound quality. This serves as both an amp on the output and a, a phono input into the mixing system. I got this at the amateur radio show in Midland and just had to spray the controls. The inputs include the phono, the 78 RPM phono, the tuner, and the cassette machine. Maybe I better turn the fan away here so there's not any wind noise. This is the input from the computer, which is playing kwamradio.com. And this amp goes out into the living room area. But this is the, let's see, this is then the tuner. It's a very sensitive tuner. I'm picking up a public radio translator station which is 250 watts, and I'm picking it up in stereo. This was a tuner that a, a friend at work gave to me, and I'm very grateful for it. It's about the best performing tuner I've ever seen. It's a Pioneer stereo tuner, model TX8100. Let's try some other stations here. You can still take advantage of our clutter program. We'll give you top dollar for your tray. Your family and friends, get outside and end summer on a high note. Save up to 30% on select camping, hiking, cycling, and backpacking gear. All back Here's the tuning and signal strength meters. The others. Uh There's volume adjustments for both AM and FM. Final Finals contest is open to all kids ages 5 to 15. The stereo quality is really good. I think my Nancy Pelosi tells you it's uh, that there's Nazis, there's Nazis out there at these healthcare reform uh, meetings. We're not the guy. I need to spray that control. Of course, in this concrete building, it's kind of hard to get at good AM reception, but. Over With a better antenna, it probably could be better. Over that beautiful long of his pontificate, yeah, they you can see that signal it's strength a, meters. It has a theological uh, foundation. But it seems to have pretty good audio quality on AM. Uh, foundational. And this is a cassette player that, and recorder I got at a thrift store, and I've been recording audio for playback in the truck because it has a cassette player in it. I, I don't usually use cassettes all that often, but now that I have a truck with a cassette player, I've been recording them.